What's good, y'all? It's, it's the Duma Shats React, and we're back with another video. video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American reaction. Let's Super get it. Super excited about this video. If you're new to us, and, and we're new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 200k. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family without further ado. Let's get into this video. Hi, I'm Josh. I'm Ollie. And today we are going to try the best fried chicken in America. The best. This is our the first best. time I'm going to get some fried chicken. <laughs> the best. What do you mean? They're going to have some dark meat today. They got to have it. We <laughs> had watched them eat fried chicken one time. Yeah. In New time. Orleans. They was in the they restaurant. They was in New Orleans. They was. Where? Was they? No. We're going to have to fetch that. peach? No, that, no, that, that was, was Georgia. Georgia. <laughs> and they didn't even eat. They didn't oh, have fried them chicken like that. Fried chicken. I don't remember them. I don't know. I don't know, but they about to eat at Willie Mays, okay? Willie Mays. But they at the best. They about to get some, they about to get some flavor. Get that crunch going. Big place. It's a big place. There's a lot of fried chicken. Willie Mays, established in New Orleans, 1957. I've been Look awarded at multiple times mm. as the best fried chicken oh, in all of America. It's a big claim. Let's go see what it's about. Let's do it. Love fried chicken. Cannot wait. The thing is, there's a lot of fried chicken around the world, right? It's not a niche thing. It's a saturated it's not market. Like fried pigeon, you know? If you set Bruh. up a restaurant <laughs> and said we're gonna have the best fried pigeon in the world, uh, yeah. I'd probably believe you. But <laughs> talking big, talking big. The main thing but you got, I, I see, I see why he's saying what he's saying though. Cause look at all the pigeons in the world, bro. Like you could like, yeah, the, the amount of pigeons is the same amount of chicken. Yeah. But I wouldn't be. I no, never thought no, about no. frying no pigeon. That's no, 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 no. But um, I mean, you know, in the south. You know, in Louisiana, we just do things a little bit differently. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, we actually have our own spices, and, you know, we just do it different. Yeah, okay? it really hits your tongue different. Okay. You feel me? It, it's classic. Some good stuff. <laughs> they don't fly. They don't fly. So... But they do fry. <laughs> oh, that is Whoa. a big tray of food. Oh, my oh. gosh. Wow, that looks really good. It looks very different from yeah. fried chicken I've had before. It almost looks like yeah. fish and chips. Look but he was just the talking. The size of that bread. <laughs> Say busty Look chicken. Okay. Yeah. That Jeez. looks spicy too. This is ridiculous. I don't think they do spicy. Who got the best one? He got the wing. I think he got like a breast. I would have went for the wing. Mm -hmm. That wing chunky. Mm -hmm. That wing look A plus. Mm. Holy moly! I can't really make that. that is I think so it's so well breast. seasoned. I think that's, that's the crispiest is. chicken I've ever bitten into. Mm. Yeah, yeah. The batter is just perfect, and yeah, the meat inside. Like that's white meat. It's so juicy. It's so oh, juicy. White. Look how. Juicy. Mm. Uh, that means it. that chicken was well hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> I think genuinely that's the juiciest chicken I've ever had. It's so juicy. One thing I should say though, you've got to embrace the grease. Yeah. I could probably change the oil in a car <laughs> <laughs> with just just by wringing your yeah, fingers yeah, into yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, should we try some of the sides? Yeah. Okay. First off. We both have a little bit of cornbread, which I love. This is such a southern thing. Oh, this is this is the cornbread. This is cornbread. Cornbread is a muffin. It looks like a little muffin. Yeah. Cheers. Oh, baby. That's so good. No question. That's yeah. so good. I'm not a huge fan of cornbread. It tastes like a muffin that you missed an ingredient. <laughs> you know? A slightly savory muffin. Slightly. I mean, that's very savory. Okay. <laughs> okay. Look at this mash of gravy. This is like a southern fried chicken classic. Get stuck in. Mmm. That gravy oh, is strong. There's a lot of flavor in there. That's like, as a Brit, not used to that many spices in my gravy. You know, gravy. Wow. <laughs> that packs a punch. Look at that gumbo. There's literally like seafood tails. It's a real gumbo. Oh, wow. wow. It's beautiful. Well, that's really seafoody. I really like that. Strong. I like how shiny it is to the season. This is like, oh, no. I've like, right. got this giant thigh. I Thunder thigh. Is it? Oh, it's, it's a thunder thigh. This is like a track cyclist thigh. It's amazing <laughs> and kind of disgusting. Kind of like, if you look at them whoa, too long, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? Doesn't look human. Don't no. think about All it. Right. Just All right, let's do right. it. Mmm, 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 mmm. I think as I bit into that, 
a bit of chicken juice like squirted out and it hit the table. It's like biting into a flipping orange. Mm. Oh, the he crap. Oh, my God. Oh. almost gone. Yo, <laughs> when did he buy so much chicken <laughs> off? That <laughs> <laughs> okay. Man. It's kind of trashy food. It's well, like the idea of doing it well or even winning an award yeah. for your f***ing e crap. Oh, my God. It's so good. You flipping punished that leg off. Mm. In the UK, fried chicken is kind of trashy food. Oh, it's like the idea of doing it say? well. Oh, boy, I thought he said this is kind of trashy food. That's what I thought he said, too. What he, did he said say? in the UK is kind of trashy food. And I'm going to put it back one more time for everybody is, but he definitely said in the UK, oh, okay. this is kind of trashy food. So what is he saying that chicken isn't a staple in the UK? Y'all don't eat fried chicken like that? Chug, yeah, I don't know. You got to clear that one up now. Hold on, let's all listen one more time. Because he, oh he punished that bone, though. It's so good. You flipping punished that leg off. Mm. In the UK, fried chicken is kind of trashy food. Okay, it's in, the in the UK, fried chicken is kind of trashy food. Because they don't season the batter. Is it that or they just don't <laughs> eat fried chicken as much? I don't know. I mean, I could not imagine eating a bland uh, fried chicken. That's a clean bird Could right there. I need a dirty bird. I need, I need all the seasoning on They need to be seasoned. Make it look dusty. So, okay, that batter need to be right. Right, for real. <laughs> okay, hey, so y'all got some talking to do about some uh, fried chicken out there. Or maybe he's talking about the batter and all the seasoning that you guys... I think that's what he's talking about. Don't usually get a hold of, you know? Because I'm, I'm imagining myself eating... A fried chicken that wasn't seasoned. Man, hey, if you're from the UK, don't be shy when you're seasoning no chicken, bro. Drop that in there. Don't do that. It didn't dip away. Man, you better slap that. Don't just use salt and uh, pepper. Put it all in there. Need yeah. Cayenne up there. What you say? You ain't sneezing. It ain't seasoned. Right. And that's a fact. That's that a is, fact. That's a fact. <laughs> The idea of doing it well or even winning an award yeah. for your fried chicken is kind of like it doesn't make sense. Fried chicken is the epitome of cheap fast food in the no. UK. It's dirt cheap. Oh. Uh, oh. They use low quality, low quality, maximum quantity. But here, it's like elevated to like a level of prestige that we just wouldn't apply to in the UK, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like finding out Look that at Dwayne at the Rock Johnson was a distant relative of King Charles, you know? You're like, you just Stand suddenly out. start seeing him differently. Bro, when you but look back at I this film, this, though, film like that, I it's like, really, this is like a family-run place mm. named after Willie May, the founder. Shout it's out, a family shout recipe. Out. This has become an institution in New Orleans. Mm. And the chicken's just made the same way now as it has been for generations, and it's just absolutely incredible. The thing is, it must be hard to do it this well, right? Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And yet, you don't think of fried chicken as something that would require like exquisite technique. It's, it's not. Yes, it's very much so exquisite technique. You definitely want to go to a restaurant where the dish tastes the same every time. Every time. I can't go to a restaurant and I get like a dish and then I go again the next day. The cook cooked it different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I I don't understand that type of. So it has to be a, a recipe that you're found, following every second when you're mm -hmm. cooking this type of dish. It's, it's definitely a technique. Yeah. yeah. And this is their family recipes, but of course, you know, really pretty much we all know how to cook. Bro, can you imagine? A, can you imagine the office that this restaurant probably got for this recipe? Mm. I know them office was crazy. Yeah, to buy them I, out. Oh, huh? yeah. All right, just the recipe alone. They're like, keep the food, keep everything that y'all doing, but give me the recipe. So she made the brand take off, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so, of course, there was offers, but... Man, that's... I, I know we got to get back to, to the video, but that's a beautiful thing. Like, when you pass it down something to generations and generations, mm -hmm. that's one generation that's going to be with the times 100%. Yeah, and yeah. And they're going to know exactly what to do with it. Right. You know what I'm saying? And she's no longer here, you know? Mm. And her family is still holding on to that legacy. Right, right, right. Of their family restaurant. I, we just had a little conversation. World-renowned. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> It's not freaking souffle, is it? But the sheer amount of kind of bad fried chicken shows how hard it must be. If it was easy, everyone would be doing it. Everyone Three years ago, I secretly ghostwrote my best friend's autobiography and published it without his knowledge. I did not know what I was getting myself you into when I became your friend. <laughs> It went on to become a global bestseller. So this year, with the help of a team of comedy writers, I did it again. There's no way. Another book. <laughs> it's a space opera. <laughs> Seriously, guys, this book took me a year to write, and it's really good. It's available on Amazon if you want to buy it. I'm going to try this mac and cheese. The ratio of cheese to mac is high. Yeah, it's high. Very high. It's high. I kind of wish it had a crispy top. Yeah. But let's see. Who are we to criticize? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly, that is so cheesy. That is like, Whoa. do you want a bit of mac with your cheese? Because oh, that is extremely cheesy. It's more like cheese and mac. Yeah, exactly. Well, Mac's been relegated to second place. Massively. Is this just cabbage? Oh, my 
my gosh. Some greens. I don't know what's going on there, but that is unlike any cabbage I've ever had. Some I'm greens, get it. Like, that's actually cabbage with flavor. We don't really have that. That's amazing. I thought cabbage was supposed to be flavorless. Like, that is too much flavor. No. Like, you could, you could hey, have you that between two what? pieces of bread, hey. and it'd be a lovely sandwich. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know? Like, it's a bit overwhelming for me. I know. <clears throat> like, Cool it, cabbage. Yeah. 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 Calm, yeah. Down. <laughs> calm down, calm down, Harris. Calm down. I want a candy jam. Oh my god. I think these are the only people I've ever seen that get upset with their food for being so good, bro. Mm -hmm. It's like they're like, yo, why is it so flavorful? Why is it so juicy? Why is it so well seasoned? It's like, and then you just like, yeah, you gotta understand. This is the UK we talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Our friends in the UK. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> we gotta bring some flavor. Yeah. When we come down there. Oh, thanks. With for that. This oh my gosh. It was like living pancakes. <laughs> Oh, that's KVM's that's done right. Oh my gosh. Everything here is so overwhelming. That is just so much flavor in everything. I love that. Gosh, I love the texture of that. I do it's like so that, sweet. but like the cabbage, I mean, I couldn't come even close to finishing mm. that. And that's not a oh. large portion. Red beans and rice. Now this in it, Man, Asia, you have it like it's sweet. It's not sweet. It's not sweet. It's like vaguely reminiscent of like refried beans. Mm -hmm. The star of the show though is the chicken. Wow, like such a long yeah. bite. All right, I freaking love this. So there's more maybe? question. Where does this fit in the pantheon of fried chicken that we've had over the years? That's tough. It is. It is very, very different. Oh. And here are those mm. beautiful tenders. Oh wow. Some more chicken. Oh, amazing. Those, right here. Uh, not what I had in mind when I thought of tenders. Oh. Cheers, mate. Mm. <laughs> Holy moly. Wow. Again, it's unbelievably juicy. It's almost overwhelming. What the heck? You know what I want to do? I want to dip it in the mash. Yeah, okay, mash listen. Up. Mash up. Mash up. I was just about to say that, like, they, they eating it how they eating it, but they don't got no sauce with it. Mm -hmm. They had, like, a signature sauce with it. I'm pretty sure they would have been going crazy, crazy. Yeah, but you know, some fried chicken don't need a sauce. Yeah, and this I don't is like tenders, though. The only time I eat sauce is with Raisin Kings. Mm. Other than that, I don't... Mm. Signature sauce. Yeah, okay. You gotta be a special <laughs> made. AB, get in. Let's go. Uh -huh. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's like a warm hug on my tongue. That's not how your cardiovascular oh. system describe it. Okay. <laughs> More like a chokehold. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You thought it was a hug, oh, but then yeah. you start kind of feeling a bit dizzy. Oh, no. It's funny because there's so much yeah. flavor going yeah, on, Josh. Already. If, you add, if you add on top, mm. it's like there's not enough room in my mouth for the yeah. flavor. I feel like my mm. fragile British taste buds are like overwhelmed. Oh, wow. This has been supposedly the best fried chicken in America. Uh, De facto best fried chicken in the world. <laughs> I still resist what? awarding a singular medal. I don't, I don't think there can be a single best chicken in the world. Obviously, you can't rate it against everything in the world. You haven't tried that much. That's How true. does this compare to <laughs> chickens you've tried? Well, it's probably the best I've tried. <laughs> 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 it could be the best in the world. Of course, but we knew that before we walked yeah. in. Top of the list, man. <laughs> I, can, I actually do think this is the best fried chicken I've ever tried. Wow. It's, it's, that's a big thing. Wow, that's big. It's incredibly that's good. Big. Willie May just absolutely freaking smashed it. Come and try it. It lived it's up totally to worth its it. extraordinary reputation. Yeah. But in the meantime, we'll see you jolly soon. See you later. Make sure you guys go show some love, man. Yeah, see the your stomping grounds. Look, they talking about some good eating out there. Yes, you know that it's a big statement. But when you think about a family recipe mm -hmm. that surpasses the life of two generations. Yeah. That's two generations. Huge. She's no longer here. That's huge. Big, big. Yes. Mm. Huge. Mm, mm, mm. All right. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.